What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're gonna be talking about the golden ratio. What is it, why is it important, and how the heck do you use it? Because it's math and that's confusing. We're gonna talk about math, don't freak out. The golden ratio is a mathematical equation that's commonly found in nature, but when it's applied to design, it creates really beautiful, proportional, aesthetically pleasing designs. Golden ratio, also known as the golden section or the golden mean or the divine proportion, or in the Greek, phi, no joke, that's just what it's called, but it equals a number and that number is 1.618. Have I lost you yet? It's just a decimal, chill out. Well, how do we do the math and actually find this out? Or how does it look when you do the math? Well, it looks something like this. The golden ratio exists when a line is divided into two parts and the longer part, part A, divided by the smaller part, part B, is equal to the sum of A plus B divided by A, which both equal 1.618. We just did math. Listen, don't freak out about the math, okay? Don't leave yet, because when you take all that math and you apply it to design, what you're gonna get is really beautiful proportions, like a beautiful rhythm and harmony to your designs that maybe you've never applied before. This type of harmony and proportion has been used for thousands of years in the pyramids of Giza, to the Sistine Chapel, the Mona Lisa, the Pepsi logo, and the Twitter logo. Everybody's using the golden ratio, man. If you ever done a little bit of research on the golden ratio, you've probably seen this conch shell shape. That's the golden ratio when it's kind of like applied visually. But how do, how do we get this conch shell shape? Let's dive into the computer and I'll show you how we do that. If you wanna build your own golden ratio conch shell and all that kind of stuff, here's how you do it. Here's the easy way to do it. And I'm just gonna draw a, um, let's do, make it simple. I'm gonna do 100 by 100 pixel kind of like square here, okay? So we have a square, and uh, let's just zoom in a little bit. Now, the golden ratio is built off of that like Fibonacci sequence, right? So um, you should be able to add one plus the previous one to get your next one. And I'll show you what that means, right? So like one plus the previous one, which is zero, makes another one of the same size. But these two together should make a larger size square and that should be double the size. So we'll just go until it snaps like that and we will make it slightly darker than the previous one. Okay, and now you can take this whole thing, I'm just gonna rotate it and lay it on its side, and you have, that's the golden ratio. Okay, five ways that I use the golden ratio in my design work, and uh, hopefully it'll help you to start implementing it and kind of getting in the groove with the golden ratio. Okay, the first way that I use the golden ratio in my work is through layouts. Take this example of a web project that I have right here, and I wanna break it into these two columns, but what size do I make these columns? Well, I could guess, or I could just take my 960 and divide it by the golden ratio, 1.618, and I'm gonna get something around 593 pixels. That's my main content area. What's left over is my sidebar. Add a little padding, a little bit of margin, you got yourself a web layout. And this layout is going to be particularly nice on the eye. When looking at it, I'm, there's gonna be no question that this is the main content and that that is supporting content or auxiliary content. So one way to use it is by making layouts, pretty sweet. The second way that you can use the golden ratio inside of your work is actually using it inside of your layouts to give spacing to your content contextual to itself. Well, let's say you were mocking up some sort of magazine or some sort of brochure brochure and you had some main content or some sort of main imagery you wanted to feature and you had some supporting content like a logo or some contact information. How do you lay that out on a page? Well, it'd be really easy just to apply your golden ratio and then start to space things out accordingly how it's laid out inside of that structure. All right, the third way you can use the golden ratio with your designs is actually to apply it to photography. It's all about cropping your image in and bringing a little bit of excitement using the golden ratio. A Another popular way to do it is the rule of thirds, although that's a little less precise as compared to the golden ratio, but it works as well. These are some examples of the way that the rule of thirds is used in cinema and in photography to create a juxtaposition of content 
with the context. Imagery is just a lot more interesting when things aren't just placed right in the middle and dead center. Take for instance, the shot that you're looking at right now of me standing in this scene. I'm not dead center, I'm pushed over to the side and I'm using kind of a rule of thirds to make the shot a little bit more interesting. It's more interesting than this. For some reason, this is more interesting than this. I don't know why, but it is. The next way that you can use the golden ratio to affect your design work is through forms. What do I mean by forms? I mean logos, I mean icons, I mean anything that you form together to be a self-contained design, you can use the golden ratio. And the way that you would do that is to go back to that golden ratio that you created and take either those boxes or those circles out of those compartments, pull all of those together. Those are the tools that you're gonna use to make sure that everything is smooth or in context of itself. The Pepsi logo is actually based on two intersecting circles. You can see the main circle that represents the outside of the Pepsi logo. They are using one of the golden ratio circles inside to give that initial swoop. It doesn't necessarily follow it all the way, but it's definitely a piece of it. The last way that I use the golden ratio in my design work is in typography to create typographic scales. I've talked about this a bunch in other videos, but I'll mention it quickly here. All you have to do is take whatever piece of typography, the base typography of your project. If it's a website or if it's a poster, you choose whatever that de facto size of, of typography is, the body copy, so to speak, and then you're gonna create a typographic scale that moves up. So just taking that piece of body copy and multiplying it by 1.618 is gonna give you your next size in your scale. You just take that next one and multiply it again by the golden ratio, and you're gonna keep scaling your text up until you have this beautiful typographic scale. I'm gonna put some helpful links to typographic scales down in the description for you to research a little bit more on your own. Well, that's it. That's what the golden ratio is and that's how I use it in design work and you can too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I make lots of videos about design and development, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and tapping into the power of the golden ratio. I'll see you in the next one.